being a woman South Africa means that my ambitions are not guaranteed. Not guaranteed because I will not be working towards them, but not guaranteed because a man can snatch them away from me at any time by killing me. Being a woman in South Africa is powerful but vulnerable at the same time because you are given this gift of being a woman, but no one is appreciative or respectful of the fact that you are a woman. Being a woman in South Africa, you find yourself looking over your shoulder 24-7. You find yourself having to educate yourself in order to keep yourself alive. Because at the end of the day, it's your fault if you go missing, it's your fault if you die, and it's your fault if you trigger a man to hurt you. The year is 2020. We are live in a crime scene which is located in South Africa. South Africa is going through a femicide and a gender-based violence crisis. A femicide is basically the killings of women and children, specifically by a man because of her gender. Women and children in South Africa are also being killed and raped every day. A woman in South Africa is murdered every three hours. 50% of South African children will be abused before the age of 18. The silence of the country regarding the killings of women and children is very loud. Martin Luther King spoke no lies when he said that there comes a time when silence is betrayal. I repeat, South Africa is in a crime scene. One in three South African women will be raped at least once during their lifetimes. A woman is murdered every three hours in South Africa. That's five times higher than the global average for femicide. And of those killed, there's a 56% chance that a woman will have been murdered by her own partner. South African Institute of Race Relations estimates that 40% of South African women are going to be raped at least once during their lifetimes. Welcome to South Africa, where the lives of women, trans women and children are not catered for. South Africa is where you find women constantly fearing for their safety. Whether they are indoors or outdoors, it's not safe anywhere. South Africa is where you find women constantly praying that they make it through the day because every day is not promised that they will make it out alive. South Africa is where you find women constantly alerting their loved ones about their whereabouts in case they are in danger. South Africa is where you find women thinking twice about their outfits in fear of being raped, killed or kidnapped. However, the women's outfits is really no longer why they are killed, raped and kidnapped. South Africa is where you find women being killed, raped and kidnapped because of the mere existence of being a woman. South Africa is where you find women being very kind to men in fear of being killed by men because of how they may speak to them. South Africa is where you find women fighting alone in a battle of femicide and gender-based violence. Women in South Africa in 2020 is nothing like I imagined growing up as a little girl. It's become a, a fear every day actually and you know you you go anywhere you in, in an uber and it's like snap you know i need to share this location with the people close to me as soon as possible because you just never know what could happen to you and honestly at this point i'm not too sure what the way forward is to protect our women and our children in south africa but it's it's cause for concern at this point it's been for a while, actually. What it means to be a woman in South Africa is that you are living in constant fear um, because you're a target not only to people who you don't know, but also people who you are familiar with. These people can rape, murder, um, or kidnap you for a large amount of money um, just because you are a woman. Being a woman in South Africa, every time I think about it, I think about traveling, to travel to get out of the house is excruciating because you know this could be the day you know even though you try to not think like that and no matter how positively your thinking is aligned you know uh, facts are facts anything can happen it can happen at any time so that is the exhausting part South African woman 
are going through their own pandemic of survival. South Africa is a country where one can no longer warn or advise a woman on their safety because how do you tell a woman to be safe? What does one have to do in order to be safe? Again, welcome to South Africa, where once again we still look back at women to save themselves against men instead of taking action towards those men who are killing and raping women in order to end the battle against women.